So over here for his first visit. It's my guest appearance <laughs> on the Vulcan Robotics off-season vlog. I'm super stoked to be here. Um, <laughs> if you watch our videos from the 2015-16 season, <laughs> you probably have no idea who he is. His name is Bob Bobowitz. Yeah, I <laughs> I came back to visit after being away from from robotics for uh, for college for a year, and I'm pretty excited to see where the team is headed. Uh, got some some high hopes for this year. I'll definitely be following whatever future videos and updates the team puts out. So go Vulcan. Because the annoying part is like the suction. Okay, so right now Jason and Max are trying to get the motor in to the motor clamp and trying not to hurt. Or, or, okay, that was, that was easier than the first one. So. Good job, guys. Okay, so fatigue here is cutting the steel cable with a very intelligent mechanism of a plier and a clamp. This is a vice. That was like vice, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I like swear we had these like A1 wire cutters. Like I don't know how we were able to cut the steel cable last year. But I don't know, like last meeting I spent one or two hours just looking for it. And I don't know if I'm hallucinating or not. Like, I swear it's over here. But it's, I don't know, whatever. It's the garage. Everything is lost in the garage, as you can see. Yeah, whatever. It, it's this, okay. This, this works. Yeah, the pliers and the vice works. So. Yeah. I, crap, look oh, at these. Didn't you draw it here? No, yeah, no. But then I have to, like, fold it inwards and then put a like a like what do you what do you call them the the crimp there we go oh. you put like a crimp in because you see how this is crimped so i'm cut i cut it over oh. here but this is the part where oh, i actually want it to there. reach the bolt yeah I see, I see. did it work like almost but then the rest i can cut off with scissors all right here we go job well done so now we have to. <laughs> Alright, wait, shit, where did I mark that? Hold up. This is the. This is this wire. Oh, crap. Wire. Yeah, that's, there we go. It's over here. Alright, alright, I marked it over here, so then that means I need to bend it inwards like this. Also, fun fact about bandsaws don't wear gloves when you're using them, because apparently the gloves can get caught in the saw and pull your fingers and your hand in. Thankfully, that didn't happen to me, but I don't know, I, I, I really like, like I'm still kind of shook at the fact that like every single time I use a bandsaw, I could have sawed my fingers off. Like, like just don't use, like it's much worse to have your hand pulled in with the glove than to just get a bad cut. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. By accidentally, like, I wish somebody told me this. These are the AR3K400 slides um, by Shugat Sune. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. But don't please don't laugh at me if I'm wrong. But anyway, uh, these are very light and can extrude very far. So, like, if these work well, they'll be the new trademark Vulcan slide. So... Nice, nice. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, that's that's a lot. Yeah. I. So it's okay. So it starts down there. Now go for it. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. It's actually like kind of weird. Okay, here we go. Okay. I'm like lifting the second stage up with my finger. That's how light these slides are. Wow. That's that's amazing. Now keep it up there. Oh wow. So it goes all the way up here yeah and that's only three stages of a 14 inch slide that's like super light nice and nice. super fun to do this with <laughs> yes it's it's very good entertainment
I don't know. I mean, these are kind of a pain to work with, but if yeah, you're like experienced in working with custom parts and you know how lifts yeah. work, then you can probably figure it out. Yeah. So, so you, everybody you can go and parts. make your own lift. It's very fun to Wait. do. Yeah. This is a lift that we meant to have for a competition last year, except we didn't get a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. And that was an L. But we're, we're new and improved now, yeah. as you can see. Yeah. Nice. Split. What are you doing here, buddy? I'm relaxing. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So check out yeah. the contraption we made um, um, to like test yeah, the, the, the oh, yeah. load okay. of like a, a three-stage AR3K400 yeah. cascading yeah. load. Um, as you can see, there's a string attached yeah, to this loading platform um, where we can put weights yeah. until we notice the lift start to accelerate upwards. And then it became like, if we know the spool size of our lift, then we can get a good estimate of the amount of torque that it would require to lift this up, taking into consideration the weight of this loading platform and one component of this slide. And oddly enough, if you look at it from here, this low-key looks like a basketball hoop. No, it does. No, kind of, like, you got the board here and then like... Bro, what yeah, basketball exactly. hoops you guys play at, man? <laughs> I don't play. Yo, it, I, that's why I said low-key. Alright, whatever, man. Hey, this is, this is an imaginary basketball hoop. You gotta have like... Need like a vision, vision, you know? You gotta have like that artistic genius. Yeah, you gotta like a... be seeing something else to see a basketball hoop. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. It's, it's all it's all art, dude. <laughs> Peep the new light that we got installed here. Um Yeah. Yeah, it was <laughs> last meeting was really bad. Because the lighting was really bad. And if you watched our like very first vlog, you can you can see that pretty clearly. So. Also, our robot reveal is like basically in the dark, so the quality of the video is pretty bad. Yeah. 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 Yeah.